Hi guys, it's Cheryl the Craftnut32, and today I'm here to share with you a quick card. This is the card. It is an A2 size card. I started off with an 8.5 by 11 piece of craft card stock. I cut it at 4 and a quarter, and then I scored it at 5.5, and, and it creates a nice top folding card. Um, the flowers are stamped with this stamp I got at Michael's. It is a Stampendous stamp, and I got that back in August, and I really love it having a lot of fun with it. I stamped it in some Simus Stamp black ink and then for the flowers and the leaves and the stems I used some ink tense pencils and I colored them with some yellow and then purple and then two shades of green. Then I used my water brush pen to blend out all the colors. I used some distress inks for the background and they were Stormy Sky, and then Weathered Wood, and I just really love how it had such bright colors from the flowers and then like a slated um, blue around them. I thought it made the colors pop even more. I used a Spellbinders die to cut out the flowers, but first I embossed it so there's a nice raised portion. Um, I just got the rubber embossing mats for my Cuddlebug not too long ago and I love them. I had some twine from a local scrapbook store, so I used that around the bottom. And then the background was used with this nice big My Favorite Things wood green background stamp that I got for Christmas, so I was really happy to use it. I used some Simon's Stamp dark chocolate, and I love how it looks. It was my first time using it, and I think it's so pretty. Um, one little detail I did around the front was with my white gel pen. I created some dash lines. And then the front I just left plain. Um, I decided just to leave it as is. I wanted it to be a birthday card, but I couldn't find a birthday sentiment that I liked. I really wanted to cut this um, floral image out with my Spellbinder die. Um, the shape in particular, I thought it would look really pretty just with the leaf kind of going off there at the side. And then when I was looking through my stamps, I couldn't really see anything that I thought suited this um, design. I was thinking something down here or up top, and then I really didn't want to cover up the wood grain, nor did I want to cover up any part of the flowers. Because I had the stems going all the way down, it kind of prevented anything further being stamped on that panel. Um, and so I decided just to leave it plain. That way, if I want to grab it in the future, it doesn't have to be a birthday card. It could just be for anything I need at that point. And then I could just fill it in on the inside or fill it out on the inside and just give it to somebody for like thinking of you or even a happy birthday or hugs or something like that. So I'm really glad I decided to leave it plain. The inside, I grabbed a piece of white paper. I cut it down just so it'd be a quarter shy of the four and a quarter by five and a half. I like that nice border that it gives. I used some soft granite Hero Art ink. I re-stamped that stamp again and I stamped it just down there at the corner. And that way I can write over top of it, I can write around it, and I just think it gives a nice little interest on the inside also. So that is my card for today. I hope everyone's having a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye!